Cobalt streak is coming on Hello. to coach us. High level binding of Isaac. Oh, while you're doing that, my coffee just got here. So the door, I'm going to go run downstairs for like 30 all, seconds. Oh, good, man. That. Only the number one Isaac player in the world gets coffee delivered to his door. I've heard of a lot of things being delivered to your door. A cup of Joe, only for the number one Isaac player in the world. Is it, is it that's E? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This all guy. right. Ladies, oh, wait, am I wait, I'm not warm? tainted. Am I tainted? I'm not tainted. Wait, you're tainted, I think. Oh, you're wait. Are we both tainted? Ladies and gentlemen, I, super excited. We got the number one Isaac play in the world, Cobalt Streak, playing via lag. So he's going to be coaching us up. So Cobalt Streak, for someone who's never played Tainted Lazarus. Give me You've a never played it? <laughs> give, give me first grade vernacular. What are we looking at here? All right, so you've got your flip in the bottom right corner, right? Okay. That's going to flip you to your, the other version of your character. It's, it's basically like Lazarus and then whatever he comes back as. Um, flip side. But, as. What, can, we, can we name him? Can we go, call him Flippy? What, what, do you call, Flippy? what do you call him when you hit the button? What do you call him? Uh, jerk. Um guy that's probably gonna get me killed um, okay we'll call him jerk so then so you flip why do we want to flip so every room that you finish um oh no uh you're going to automatically flip every room that you so after this room we're, we're flipping you're flipping okay. i'm i'm lagging but i'm well you, look you're the I'm number one try. isaac play in the world you lagging <laughs> you're better than 98 percent of, of everyone else playing now i'm jerk Yes, uh, so okay. that character has a little bit of different stats. What I try to do is I try to put all my beefy items, my red health items on my front character. So, uh, so that you call I those can, beefy items. I'll try to put on my front character, my first character. Okay. So that I can play blood banks and stuff. Okay. Uh, and, and then I try to throw damage onto my second character since he already has like the better damage. What's the percentage chance as our first time painted Lazarus player on this run, you could coach us to like even a streamer room victory. I, my fruit is frozen. Um, well, uh, maybe 50, 50, 50, 50. All right. Yeah, so I can watch the stream and comment. I only have like two seconds of delay. Okay. So what, uh, what, well, I think let, let's do that. Cause it's like, we're going to be battling the raviolis. Like, here's the thing. Like I, when I was like, oh, Dan wants me to coach him. I don't know what he's going for. Is he go? is he want to learn a specific character? Does he want to go for speed so that we can crush Northern Lion next time we race or honestly, you know what? I like that idea. So, <laughs> so here's, we're going to pivot and just because sometimes I always say the best ideas come from the community. And in this case, you're the community. So. We're gonna we're gonna race Ryan Gary in a vanilla Isaac race. So the number one Isaac player in the world is gonna coach me how to cut five to ten minutes off our Isaac run. All right. So right now, how do we okay. cut some five ten minutes off our run? All right. If we're playing Isaac with the D6. Yes. Main thing you don't want to spend your D6 rolls in your item rooms. Okay. Why you is want that? To because your item room pool is going to be much larger um and there's a lot of stuff that's not as good in your item room pool okay so you want to focus your roles on your boss items uh and well on the first floor boss item on subsequent floors if you think you're going to make your your devil or your angel room mm -hmm. then you want to save it for that and then if you just don't hit anything there then you roll your boss another big tip that you can do is when you can try to position yourself when the room is about to end, like when you're about to kill the last enemy, mm -hmm. you can either position yourself directly in the middle of the room where a consumable might drop. So you're just picking that up right away and able to leave. Uh... Or you can position yourself by the door so that you can just leave the room right away and save yourself a couple of seconds every room instead of having to walk to the exit. Which, uh, yeah, you just want to cut off any amount of time that you can. You know, not getting hit um, is also a key strategy. But, so I mean, Also, a uh, big tip for speedrunning, mm -hmm. um, your bomb. You can use your bombs, obviously, to speedrun because you can, like, blow out of a room. Mm -hmm. So if you, like, walk into a room that's you just know is going to take a lot of time, like, you know, the room with the all the whack-a-moles that pop up in the center. Hey, it's Dan. If you're enjoying the video, hit the like button. It helps out a ton. Thank you. Yeah. And then they, like, disperse everywhere. 
and you have to like track them down and it's like a two minute room yeah you can just go bomb through there uh, and that'll save you some time as well let me ask about this room right here so like say this is the normal room i walk in here are you wasting time shooting this chocolate and then opening the chest or are you just leaving it on a um, real speed it, run it, it depends on how my consumables are looking at the moment so i haven't got my item room yet are you going in this boss fight because we have a spirit heart uh you don't want to go in there without a charge ready you did blow a charge on your item room last floor which i okay you know which you you should probably save those for your next floor especially if your item's bad like you called it blowing uh, a charge so what are you looking for so you, you know this boss like what are you hoping for here on a normal boss item that's anything tier eight anything damage meat's great okay so meat's uh, good we're gonna yep. pa we'll pass on the devil deal and then go re-roll real quick or is that not worth the time uh i i would just go but i mean you can if you aren't feeling confident you can go back and re-roll i think it's a waste okay uh, because if you hit your boss room if you find your boss room on the next floor faster you'll already have a roll up instead of trying to like scramble around yeah. to so make one off the top of your dome like what would be like a couple s tier speed run items you could get in a normie room tech x magic mushroom anything that's like a damage multiplier okay anything non-damage related that's like kind of uh, avant-garde or anything weird that you can think of i mean i don't know like a couple of the followers are like a little brimstone would be really good so back to straight here so gold so now that i got goldie, goldie. right so now i should just so be good. streamlining yeah you i yeah just you're doing perfect i'd be popping bombs all over all the enemies um i i would even go check that item room just like while you're running by it since you have the goldies okay um might as well just finish the boss though because you have half a soul heart and yeah i left i left see that i left that half back there so like right now for me i'm thinking like you see that half blue on the map to me that's that could be a difference maker but ideally you do like just don't get hit by the boss right or i should have picked Pretty this much. up the first time um you just want to make sure you're making those deals gotcha. oh that was beautiful bomb though right there you got all of them with that one i, I don't know how much my coaching is going to help you because northern lions literally listening to all my tips <laughs> yeah, well the thing about him is, the thing about him is he won't take any coaching at all so it's he's, okay you know, fair. yeah so, so now we're definitely taking this <laughs> look at that pog face we're definitely taking the oh, sticks nice yeah oh yeah tier eight sword right, let's go see oh that one's Ooh, okay, no, no, that's the wrong sword. That's the the lance tip. Uh, yeah, I'd I'd pop the angel and then do a double roll. Okay, and why, since you have, why don't you like the sword? So unless you're gonna be like living inside of things' faces, yeah, um, and you're super confident in your health. I mean, you do have a Celtic cross, but you wouldn't live that you're, lifestyle. It's just risky. Yeah. No, there's so many other better deals. I'd pop all these pots in case you get a quarter too. And then you can roll that. I didn't well. know. I didn't know you could get quarters from those. Oh yeah, you can get uh, swallowed penny and quarters from from pot. Right. Swallowed penny is one of the best trinkets. Really? What does swallowed penny do? Oh, uh, when you take a damage that has, you have a chance to drop a coin. So you can just like game break with it really easily, because um, then you can like manipulate your health to just uh, snowball. Ooh. Okay, what do you think? Okay. So, okay, good. So, and let's talk about mapping a little bit, right? So, like, here mm -hmm. on this floor, are you just guessing? I would probably try to check the long room first just to get it out of the way. Okay. I feel like every time I don't check a long room, that's always the way it is. Okay. Which it's not this time, but... And then everything else, like, now this is just a guess the rest of the way? Yeah, just okay. have to guess. Let's talk speed trinkets real quick. So, right now I have, uh, I had the petrified... Is there mm -hmm. any trinkets that you're like curved horn, curved horn? So any any so D up, you're big on D up. Are there any like speed or like door unlock ones or anything like that? Um, that help? Anything damage to your rate like cancer, curved horn. I like the sigil uh, of Baphomet, Baphomet yeah. as well, just because like if you're killing stuff, you're you're invincible. OK, so here you're taking Euthanzia. Are you rolling yep. it? I take would it. take the shot. Okay. I, you just got a 4.5 percent devil deal, by the way. <laughs> which is almost as impressive as your B skill with eight guppy collars. Oh, so I got that an name is bad. I got an idea after this if you want to. And I don't, I don't think I'm going to take this all the way to the chest because we, we had some tech issues. But hear me out. Would you be willing to right after this, after we beat mom and then I'll eat it. Would you be willing to race me? I mean, you don't have to stream or anything, but just and just check in with me what room you're in. Sure. 
Can you do can, that? Can, can you do that? that and then still can you and like kind of coach? Sure. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. Okay. I can, yeah, I can do that. Do you have a desire to speed run again? I mean, if I ever get bored, it's like a thing. Like if I get bored with streaking mm -hmm. or uh, or you know making up my own challenges, then yeah, I go back to that as like a, an alternative. That's what's great about Isaac is like it's only limited to your own creativity with how you challenge yourself. Um, whether it's like speed running or doing a streak or you know trying to unlock everything you can without dying. Which is that's like let's talk about that real quick. So currently, that's what you're doing is trying to unlock everything in repentance without dying. Yes. And uh, well, there are some unlocks that require death. Really? Like to get the scissors, you have to die 99 times. So what are you gonna do um, for those? Are they just exempt? I just, I just go around them. I just try to get every single thing that I can without actually having to die. Okay, so then they'll be like the last things you do. Well, yes. You, or, or you won't have exactly. to do. It. Yo, big thank you to Cobalt Streak, number one Isaac play in the world, coaching us up now. Give him a taste of his own medicine. See if we can beat him. Want to catch up on the Dan Geesling Show because you can't catch it live on Twitch? Then go to youtube.com slash Dan Geesling Plays. There you'll find every single one of our live shows cut up in an easily digestible episode for your viewing pleasure. Episodes are up within a couple days of the show, so you're never too far behind if you want to catch up and watch live. That's youtube.com slash Plays to watch anything you might have missed on Twitch.